hi good morning so in our previous video it's the eighth video and we have talked about the water quality and the content is ph kh and gh so now we are in our ninth video and we are uh, going to talk or discuss about the nitrogen cycle so what is nitrogen cycle and how it affects uh, the aquarium so at times uh, we we buy a new aquarium uh, bring some fish uh, or keep some oxygen pump and everything like that we set it and we release the fish so at times uh, the fish will thrive and they will live happily but in some cases the fish will die so why is it happening why are fish dying so we are giving the oxygen pump we are giving the air pump we are feeding them well we are maintaining good water quality but still why are, why fish are dying so what is happening in the aquarium uh, which we are unable to recognize or understand and which we can't see with our naked eye yes the thing is uh, we have to know something about the nitrogen cycle which is the most important factor actually i too came to know about the nitrogen cycle only after i started uh, after i came to a decision of making fish related videos to share with you so what is nitrogen cycle see my effort uh, to give you the best explanation regarding all these fish videos is to make you aware of what things are going on and how things should be carried on to maintain a good aquarium i am giving my best effort so my intention is to explain you clearly and hope you can you are understanding my videos so only then the my effort will be fulfilled so let's talk about the nitrogen cycle for example we took a small aquarium or a big aquarium so we have kept good quality water and air pump and everything fine and we have added fish so after adding fish what will we do we add we give them food so if the food is sufficient for the fish that is fine if unexpectedly if we give more food the excess food will get wasted on the other hand after consuming food as naturally fish releases waste the waste or uneaten food all this get converted into ammonia if ammonia levels are high in the aquarium or anywhere the fish will die so excess of we have to take care that excess of ammonia should not be built up in the aquarium we should not overfeed the fish on the other hand if we have some aquatic plants in the aquarium and if 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 some plants or parts of the plants get decomposed that also helps in building up ammonia so what should we do it's better to siphon the uh, debris for every 2 3 days so once you siphon the debris or the unwanted or the waste material at the bottom of the tank automatically along with the debris the water comes out so there will be a reduction of water level in the aquarium so what you can do you can add new water to come to its normal state so this is the precaution what we have to take care but uh, as we all know nature is the best so what does mother nature do it naturally in this sort of aquarium naturally uh, two useful bacteria will be born naturally one is nitrosomonas and the other is nitrobacter so what does these two bacteria do and help us in keep maintaining the aquarium good in a good condition so when ammonia is built up nitrosomonas is the bacteria which converts ammonia to nitrite and because ammonia is harmful it ammonia gets converted to nitrite with the help of nitrosomonas so because of this 
when ammonia gets converted from nitrite to nitrate nitrite is not as harmful as ammonia the other bacteria called as nitrobacter will convert this nitrite to nitrate which is far less harmful than ammonia uh, ammonia is dangerous rather than that nitrite is less dangerous and nitrate is also very less is far more better than these two okay so what happens here is if we take a small aquarium if we add more fish at once what happens more waste will be produced in the very limited space so automatically the ammonia will build up and and uh, once the ammonia level rises the fish will die we will think are we are having a small aquarium the water is fresh and fish are doing good but suddenly why they are dying so this is the thing what is happening for example if you take a small aquarium and add very few fish ammonia will not develop so easily because more more space and less fish for example you take a big tank and very few fish it will take a long time for ammonia to build up so in the meantime as we do water changes that get compensated okay so this is the thing what you have to keep in mind on the other hand as uh, these two bacteria are born naturally that's fine so how should we take care of them uh, so that they will be more beneficial for our aquarium so if you go for a see this is the aquarium and you can see in the middle that's the sponge filter okay if you keep some subs or some sponge filters a sort of thing this nitrosomonas and nitrobacter these two bacteria will develop well by staying in that sponge filter so they get multiplied that is fine so what are the precautions we have to take care to preserve them or to maintain those bacteria in our aquarium once we have to clean the sponge filter that is a should and must must and should so what should we do we have to take the top layer water of the aquarium and then clean this sponge filter in that aquarium just you have to squeeze it like this so that all the waste will get relieved and do it repeatedly and again place the sponge filter in that aquarium so what happens here this uh, nitrosomonas and nitrobacter will not get washed away much because it's we are using the old aquarium water okay for example if you clean that uh, sponge filter below a, a fresh water tap or something a lot of uh, uh, these bacteria will be washed away so again it will take a lot of time for that bacteria to uh, develop more in the aquarium so that's the that's the reason why we suggest you to use old aquarium water to clean the sponge filter okay and for example if you use some uh, i'm sorry so yeah if you for example if you use some chlorine water or something to wash this uh, sponge filter all the bacteria will be lost so make sure that you never clean these sort of filters under tap tap water or chlorinated water better use an aquarium water that's fine and on the other hand whenever you if if fish if fish fall sick we not naturally use some antibiotics so those medications also may affect the Uh, these useful bacteria nitrosomonas and nitrobacter so these are the few precautions what we have to take care see some advanced aquarist aquarists use these type of filters not only these these are called as biological filters actually in in the chapter filters we have discussed about chemical filter mechanical filters and biological filters so biological filters are the filters which support these bacteria to flourish 
so uh, maintaining a biological filter for an aquarium is very important okay so this is these are the precautions what we have to take care to maintain this bacteria so again we have to talk, come to the nitrogen cycle so what happens the fish releases waste from ammonia ammonia to nitrate nitrite to nitrate so here the end product is nitrate if the levels of nitrate is also high the fish will lose its appetite and color on the other hand if you have some uh, live plants in your aquarium those plants will absorb that nitrate for their growth if you don't have more plants actually what happens is on the walls of the aquarium some green algae sort of thing will be born after a few days so if there is excess of nitrate and if plants are not consuming them well uh, these algae sort of thing will develop and they will cover the entire uh, walls of the aquarium with green patches of uh, algae sort of thing so how can we reduce nitrate nitrate can be reduced once plants absorb and after that weekly or something water changes if we have to take some 50% or 75% or something that depends upon the size of the aquarium the number of fish in it basing on that if you can reduce or uh, change 50% of water so the nitrate levels gets reduced so here how we have to start a nitrogen cycle you take a aquarium if you want go for a sponge filter or some mechanical filter or it's better you go for a biological filter for to support this sort of bacteria if you are interested and if there is good uh, source of light you can go for uh, live plants after you arrange everything you just add a very few fish which are very hard say goldfish a pair a couple of a pair of goldfish you feed them they will produce waste slowly ammonia will get developed so uh, naturally as we have talked previously this nitrosomonas and nitrobacter also will be born as ammonia levels increases these bacteria also flourish after they flourish uh, nitrogen uh, this uh, this nitrogen cycle will start ammonia to nitrate nitrate to nitrate so after this bacteria is established well slowly if you are interested you can add more and more fish so this is the way how we can start a nitrogen cycle on the other hand uh, some experts uh, start a nitrogen cycle without fish so that is called they call it as fishless cycle so how is it how is it happening actually they will take an aquarium the entire setup is common if needed they will take some waste some waste of the fish from other aquarium and they just drop it here so what happens again ammonia will be developed nitrosomonas and nitrobacter will be born naturally so they get developed and flourished they, if needed they will keep the uh, biological filters working so it happens so once the nitrogen cycle is established these bacteria have been flourished then you will introduce the fish so that is called as fishless cycle so that will be more beneficial and more safer to start an aquarium with once i planned of uh, sharing all this with you then i have uh, uh, gone through the net and i came to know about all this nitrogen cycle and such sort of thing without knowing this unknowingly and accidentally i have maintained this nitrogen cycle and everything well in this aquarium so what i have done i have taken an aquarium went for small earthen pots plants in it you can see there and a sponge filter in the middle of these two pots okay but one person has suggested me a very important thing is whenever you clean a sponge filter you please use the aquarium water and no other water so i have strictly followed his suggestions 
I don't know whether knowingly he has suggested me or unknowingly he has suggested me. But in this situation, what happened is I always cleaned the sponge filter with an aged aquarium water. So what happened? Nitrosomonas and nitro nitrobacter are always there in my aquarium. See, you can see the bottom is open means no substrate at the bottom. So I, what I used to do in this is I used to siphon the waste for debris for every two three days see you can see the snails over there so snails used to consume the, un the uneaten food as well as the waste of the fish so in that way a lot of things got converted and uh, you don't know i have maintained this aquarium without completely vacating it without taking the fish out for one year how for every two or three days, I used to siphon the debris at the bottom because it's an substrate free aquarium. And every week, I used to scrub the four sides, four walls of the aquarium, inner walls of the aquarium, and the bottom of the aquarium. And uh, I used to take the sponge filter out, then clean the interior, inner, inner four walls, and the bottom, and leave it for half an hour. So all the waste and, and such sort of things used to get sedimented at the bottom. Then I used to siphon some 50% of the water and slowly add fresh water to that aquarium. And again keep the sponge filter. So in that way, uh, a perfect nitrogen cycle has been formed over there. A perfect nitrogen cycle ran. That is the reason why my fish thrived in this aquarium. See, you can see how happy the fish are. In that way, unknowingly, and accidentally I have maintained this aquarium using this nitrogen cycle. Once we come to know what is happening in the aquarium which we can't see and if you can understand this nitrogen cycle well I am sure your fish will not die. For every 2-3 days just siphon some 10% of the water from the bottom so that the waste will get reduced, ammonia hike levels will not rise and for every week some 20% or 50% that depends upon the size of your aquarium and your fish, the number of fish you have. If you can maintain in that way, I am sure you will enjoy this habit. Yeah. So I hope, uh, yeah, one thing I will do, I am going to show you the cycle with a small diagram, okay. This is the nitrogen cycle. Here the feed, we are giving feed to the fish. Fish will eat and it produces waste. This waste is ammonia, NH3. Ammonia, because the useful bacteria stays in this sponge filter, that is nitrosomonas, which converts ammonia to nitrite, that is NO2. And this nitrate will again be converted to nitrate by the useful bacteria, nitrobacter. So this nitrate will be consumed by the plants and excess of nitrate will automatically be washed away by regular water changes. So uh, I hope you might have understood uh, what nitrogen cycle is. I hope this uh, video is going to be very useful to you and uh, and I thank you for watching for such a lot of time. And my next video is video number 10. And we are going to talk, uh, discuss about the oxygen in the water or in the aquarium, whatever it may be. So let's meet in our uh, next video. It's video number 10. Until then, take care. Bye.